Hi everyone, this is Molly with New Order, and today I'll be reviewing the Orders tab. Today we'll be going over One Woman's Wholesale, which is just a demo portal on our site. I want to take you through filters, the search bar, exporting your orders, editing, and regressing them from different sections on status level. Over here to the left, we have our filters. And within the filters, you can narrow down and search for orders. So if you were looking for specific order statuses, for example, of any orders sitting in your approved status, if you check that off, it's going to pull all orders sitting in approved. Now, just to walk you through this on what each status actually means, so you have your draft order. A draft order is new order's way of taking notes. So it's not a submitted order just yet, where it's sitting with either the rep or the buyer. An easy order is a recommendation or line sheet sent out to a buyer that's sitting with them and waiting for submission. An order that's sitting in review is a buyer submitted order. An order sitting in pending is a brand submitted order. And then we have further statuses such as approved, process, shipped, which are really internal statuses that um, each brand can decide how they want to um, further organize their orders. Then we have the canceled status, which if you cancel an order, it will then live under canceled. If I X out that filter, you can see, for example, you could search by company, search by rep, or another great one that a lot of our brands use is order date. So if you wanted to select an order date, which would be used for example, like a trade show, and you wanted to run um, specific dates, you can just select those dates and it will filter down those orders. I'm just gonna clear out my filters. Then you have the search orders. So in this field, you can search by order number or by store, num store name um, or rep name. And I just typed in Molly and this will pull in all of the um, orders associated with that rep. I then can clear that out. Now over to the right, um, you have your export button. So for an example of a use case here, if I wanted to select my pending status, no orders found. Okay, let's try it approved. So if I wanted to export all of my approved orders, I would just check this box, then go to export, click on either full order details, which will list out uh, the exact criteria for those orders, or just export the order summary. Then once you do that, it's just gonna load for a second here. You can view the order summary in an XLS file. So now I'm sure a lot of you are curious as to how I've set my headers in the orders tab, which is a great question. So over here, we have the ability to configure columns. And note that the way you can configure columns in the orders tab is on a brand user level. So if you're a sales 
rep, sales manager, or an admin user, this could all look different depending on the way it's set up um, on your end. So if I wanted to pull in company, let me just toggle that on. It pulls over. Just grab that. I had to zoom out a little bit. So if I wanted my company to appear first and then have my order number, but I also want my buyer information. So let me click back on my configuration. and toggle on buyer. So now you have company, order number, buyer, order date, rep, um, status, ship start, and total. You can also toggle off, for example, draft title, if I didn't want that to appear, or if I wanted to add in any additional fields, you just enable that setting and it turns teal. I have the creator enabled. Um, and what this means on our end is this was going to list out the actual creator that um, is the most recent user to edit the order. So you could see over here, um, the rep and the buyer, but then you can also see who edited that last. Now I just want to click on an actual order and it takes you to the order details. Within this screen, you can edit the order and if you click on the pencil, it's going to double confirm with you where you could edit this order and toggle on yes and it pulls into your working order. Then you can make the necessary edits. Or you'll see this refresh button, which is your reorder button. And a use case here is for if you have multiple um, ship to or uh, locations that you just want to submit the same order for um, multi-doors, you could just reorder that and submit the order. Or you have the three dots where you could resend the order email, um, move the order status, download the order PDF to your desktop, download the line sheet PDF, or download the XLS. If I want to go back to view all my orders, I just click view all orders and it takes me back. Just to list out what we reviewed after clicking on an order, you can also do the same within the full orders view. Thank you for reviewing the orders tab. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team at heroes at neworder.com. Thank you.